Good morning, my name is Bosco Eduardo Fernandez. I'm the CEO of ComCon. It's my own company. Uh, after coming from the industry with a very large background on telecoms and several different technologies. I had the, the pleasure of chairing or moderating a session yesterday called Transforming Our Environment to a Better Place. And if you really look at what it was all about, it was about future cit cities. Um, we keep talking about smart cities, but this one was about future cities. Where are we going from now? We had a great panelist there who came up with some brilliant ideas from this particular region, and I'd like to elaborate a little bit on that. But overall, the session was fantastic, uh, very good ideas, challenges that will be faced all around the world. We sh just going to the UN report, by 2040, we have to have 100 new, uh, sorry, 100,000 new cities around the world. This really means in places and regions like China, they have a major challenge of getting citizens into a big city with numbers of over 400 million people. And this brings, of course, all kinds of challenges with it. Uh, I think just to summarize a little bit of what the results were, uh, it was very clear that uh, a safe city is very important, so security is absolute critical uh, in all different senses, uh, not only in the communications, but in transport, in, in wherever the citizens move around. Uh, number two was um, uh, planning, extremely important, and coordination between uh, a multiple of partners to bring up a proper ecosystem. Then we had um, a very good uh, summary on what needs to be done. It was different platforms, uh, how these platforms need to be put together. And there again, the biggest challenge is, is standards. There are no standards in this particular environment, but it touches upon a lot of technology and we will see the third industrial re revolution being utilized more and more. And like I said, um, we had one more panelist there who spoke about a kind of a blueprint uh, to start off with, or a roadmap, you can call it, but it doesn't, it doesn't fit everywhere in the world. So every city will be individually uh, planned and put together, and this has to be executed. But very important was the, uh, the position of someone from Sudan who came up with a fantastic idea, and he said, while everyone's looking at urbanization and, and citizens moving to the big cities, which causes a major challenge on the municipalities and the, the surroundings and the infrastructure. Why don't we just move it the other way around? So it's about services and services need to be taken out to the villages. And as the villages have access to all of these services, people will stay more in the villages than move to the cities, which is a fantastic idea. And those villages will then grow into smarter cities and overall, will then be start looking at the future environment. Very important was carbon uh, oxide, how to reduce uh, the monoxide in many of the cities, which is a major, major bit of problem right now, especially in major big cities such as uh, in China and some parts of Asia, but also in Latin America. And this is very important for us. So it has an impact on the climate conditions. Uh, so that gives you a, a roundup of what um, the session brought across. I think there were some very good takeaways that people could have uh, or could take back home and be very proactive towards any activities that they're doing in this particular area. It's bringing about ICTs into this whole industry and this environment to make our lives better. Citizens, number one, upfront. Thank you.